Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to configure the Dreamcast emulator, Null DC, within LaunchBox. Now a few days ago I made another video on setting up Null DC on your Windows PC. I'll leave a link in the description. It's also at the end of this video and you can click on that. But you're going to need to watch that and set up Null DC first. So I have Dreamcast here, Null DC. And I have it set up just like I did in my last video. Links in the description, like I said. What I'm going to do is go to Documents. And I always have a folder with Emulator. So right now I only have Dolphin. I'm just going to open this up and drag Dreamcast into here. Just easier for me to navigate here. It's under Documents, Emulators. Next thing, you need some ROMs. I have Dreamcast ROMs here. I only have four installed on this PC now. So after you watch that other video, or you already have Null DC set up on your PC, you're going to want to open up LaunchBox. Very easy to do here, guys. Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, I'm going to add my Dreamcast folder. It's under Documents, ROMs, Dreamcast. These are my games here. Press OK. Next. Platform for imported ROMs. Dreamcast. So we'll go to Sega Dreamcast. Press Next. And choose an emulator. I'm going to click Add. From here, I'm just going to look for Null DC. And right here, these are command line parameters. LaunchBox has a lot of these set up for us. And what this will do, some of these emulators will automatically launch in full screen and things like that. So don't mess with this unless you know exactly what you're doing here. This will auto start the emulator and it will go full screen for us. Next, we need to find the emulator application path. And we're just going to find the file extension to start Dreamcast. Mine's under Documents, Emulators, Dreamcast. And it's the application extension here. Double click, press OK. Next, I want to use my ROMs in the same location they're in right now. You can also search for metadata on Wikipedia. Next, so I'll be making a video on configuring EMU movies, and there's so much you can do with that. It's pretty cool when you're running the paid version of LaunchBox and BigBox, and you have EM movies working for you. Next. Legacy of Kane, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Shamu, Sonic Adventure 2. Just have four here. Now this can take some time depending on how many ROMs you're importing or trying to find the data for online. I only have four, so it shouldn't take too long. Four games were imported successfully. Now we're all up here, but I'm just going to go to Sega Dreamcast. And as you can see, I have my four games here. All I need to do is plug in my Xbox controller, and I'm ready to play these games from within LaunchBox. So I can launch it directly from within here, but I have the paid version. I can also launch it from within BigBox. So I'm just going to show you real quick. We'll launch it from within LaunchBox. And we're now playing Legacy of Cain. Really cool. Now I've set it up to where I can hold select on my controller and press start. That will shut down the emulator in the background for us. What I want to do is just open up Big Box. Big Box mode right here. It'll launch Big Box. So now with Big Box opened up, we can just navigate to Dreamcast. I'm using an Xbox One controller. And some people have had trouble using the controller in this Big Box mode. If you just have your keyboard set up right now, you can press Escape. Scroll down to Options. Press Enter. And we're going to want to scroll down to Controller. Make sure you have Enabled Game Controllers checked here. And you can go down. And now you'll be using your game controller within Big Box. So I'll go to Dreamcast. 
And I have my four games here. Really nice interface here within Big Box. Let's just go with Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. This is going to take a little while for the intro, so I'm going to skip over it, but we'll just play the game. All right, so we're here playing Soul Reaver. Now, in the previous video, I showed you guys how to go to like 4.3 aspect ratio because some of these games do look stretched out and widescreen. It doesn't bug me that much with older games like this. It actually looks pretty decent, this game here. But, as you can see, it's running 60 FPS up in the top left-hand corner with Null DC. Hold Select, press Start. It'll bring me right back into Big Box. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'm trying to do as many tutorials as I can on this launch box and Big Box. Sometimes I need to do two videos just to make them shorter because if you don't have the emulator set up, that's a whole nother story. That's why I did two separate videos on Dreamcast. Null DC runs great. It's an older emulator, but I love it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.